Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel. I am said Stevie. As you may or may not have already noticed from today's title, it is Mail Call Monday. So let's just get right on into it. And I am going to start with a package. So all of these packages were delivered today on Mail Call Monday. And the very first one, look at that. That's from Embalm Jerky. And it says Snuz Nuz on it. That is because this was actually placed by, the order was placed by Snuz Nuz. A quick um, unboxing. Knife is the Wee Malice from Malice Monday. You may have seen my Mushroom Monday Malice and Wonderland posts earlier on Instagram. Um, I hadn't been carrying this thing for a while, but I was out and about on my vlog on Saturday. Found some shrooms, so I figured I'd dust off the Malice and... It's still, I was still sitting out when I got back home. So this is what's been in pocket today. But anyway, so uh, this is placed, this order was placed by Snuz Nuz, sent to me. And that is because um, in just a few days time, I am picking up Snuz with 100% Nuz, by the way. Hey, what's that? What are you talking about? Whoa, what's, what's, Stooge? I haven't talked to you in a minute. Yeah, I heard you talking about Nuz, so I figured I'd come out. Nuz, obviously, as he's out on the Pacific Crest Trail, sent along a little stooge. I've been stooge sitting. Yeah, I've been having lots of fun. But where's my beard? You gotta keep track of this stuff, stooge. There's your beard. Yay. Set me on my chariot. Okay. There you go. So, I got Lil Stooge on his chariot. I heard Nuz uh, mentioned. But yes, Nuz and I are embarking on a road trip on our own prior to meeting up with Maddie and Cuball in Arizona for our Blade Show cross-country road trip. And... We needed to make sure we had some yums. So, Nuz, not knowing that I already placed a sizable M-Bomb Jerky order, uh, as you can see, as always, uh, included with your M-Bomb Jerky, you're gonna get some sabritas and some candy, but Nuz placed an order. Uh, we got some Bonnie and Clyde. Surprise. Uh, this is the original red. This is, um, ooh, that's the DSKFS secret flavor. Some cracked pepper, some cracked pepper, and because I didn't know that Nuz was going to do that, I also have some cracked pepper, some cracked pepper, and some pineapple shake. Oh my goodness, and some Bonnie and Clyde, and some more Sabritas. So... This is going to be a road trip fueled by M-Bomb Jerky. No doubt about that. And we got even more being picked up in person now when we stop and see Mateo in Albuquerque on our travels west. Or no, east to Blade Show. So we'll be stopping overnight in Albuquerque. We're going to hang out with Mateo. And then we are going to be continuing on before we meet up with our brother Jack Salong's EDC. <sighs> All sorts of uh, awesome road trip shenanigans. So, on to the next one. On to the next two. I know what these are. And it's very coincidental that they happen to show up at the exact same time. So, let's start with this one. This one comes from White Mountain Knives, an order that I placed uh, last week. I even used Gary the Last Ranger's 
uh, 10% off code, uh, TLR10 at White Mountain Knives. Shout out to Gary, the Last Ranger. He's who designed my logo. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal dude. And he's got a discount code, so that's what I used. Um, this is a Best Tech. I'll, I'll give you a clue. Actually, these are both Best Techs. This one here comes from uh, Knife Center, I believe. After many, 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 many months of having this on back order, it has finally arrived. So, yeah, these are both Best Tech knives. Simply the Best Tech. So, let's start with this one. This one is a Syntax. You might already be thinking to yourself, if you're a fan of the channel, Stevie, you already done got yourself a Syntax. Yeah, I got that one that was in Hot Dog Micarta. And although it's grown on me, I haven't quite really liked it. Uh, Best Tech always sends you a nice zip-up case uh, with some uh, stickers. Oh, that's a cool one. Kombu. Uh, Kombu is going to be at Blade Show. I plan on stopping by and uh, meeting that dude. So, um, that is the first Best Tech. Uh, or the first uh, pouch there. Zip that back up. So, yes, this is another um, Syntax. And this time I got it in black micarta, which is looking way, way better than the hot dog micarta that I got. Um, but this is a Todd Knife and Tool Design uh, flipper. You got a fuller on this one. Is, that, is it a usable fuller? Yes, it is. Look at that. Different blade shape. So, let me... Uh, where is it? In my case of Todd Knife and Tool collection, here we go. So you can see what I already have going on here for Todd Knife and Tool. Um, this is the, the hot dog micarta syntax that I was talking about. That one right there. And you can see the comparison, both exploit or both uh, syntax, but this one has a clip point blade as opposed to this weird reverse tanto y one. Um, I like this one a lot better, a lot better. Um, yeah, this one compared to this one, even if this one was in black micarta, uh, like this one. Um, not that this is a bad knife, I just, I prefer that blade shape for sure. Um, you're gonna have to work it in a little bit, but yeah, you can, uh, get in there with the fuller. You can flip it with the flipper tab, and yep, just a good, uh, budgety offering from Best Tech and Todd Knife and Tool. See the Todd Knife and Tool, uh, logo on the pivot there. Uh, reversible pocket clip. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Reversible pocket clip. I wasn't sure that that one was going to have one. Uh, this is just a uh, liner lock. And the blade steel on this is 154 cm. Was it on this one too? Nah. This one is 14 c 28 n. So you are getting, in my opinion, uh, a better blade steel with this one. And uh, I think it's a better offering in the syntax realm, personally. But, again, being a collector that I am, I had to have, I, as Todd Knife and Tool releases more models, I gotta get them. Gots to gots to get them. So you can already see here, before I move on to the next one, um, I have my uh, Wii Roxy 4, my Wii Roxy 3, my Shodan and my exploit rounding things out or no i'm sorry the malware nah this is the exploit i haven't even opened it yet um well it's still malice monday so we're gonna use the malice to open this uh this one though like i said i ordered this a while back and i was getting ready to call 
knife center and say just cancel my order I'll find one on the secondary um, because it was taking so long um, even when they said originally that it would ship within two to three days it was uh, it was a couple months before um, I ended up uh, getting this but um, this is an upgraded box I've noticed a difference as when I've gotten the Shodan and the exploit that the uh, upper and higher end models of Best Tech do come in a, uh, a different box. Ultimately, it is the same pouch though. Absolutely no difference uh, there. So another uh, basic uh, pouch. Wiping cloth, a card of authenticity. No stickers in this one though. I wonder why. Pay more for a knife and you get no stickers. Oh, well. So, look at that beauty there. Holy moly, I've been waiting on this one. So, I don't have uh, this. I'm trying to get different finishes in all the different Todd Knife and Tools. So, you have the, the Flamed Anno on the Roxy 4. You have a uh, Plain Tie on the Roxy 3. Little bit of difference on the... So, this is more of like a bead blasted. Uh, titanium, this is more of a raw titanium finish. Then you got carbon fiber on the malware. This one is a blackened titanium with all uh, satin matching hardware, which I like. You got a nice uh, back full uh, backspacer. Very similar uh, pocket clip. Uh, Todd Knife and Tool does not stray far from their design language. So you can see all the different uh, outside of these guys here on their more budgety ones. All have uh, milled 3D uh, pocket clips, very similar. Um, this one looks almost identical to the one on the Roxy 3. Oh, well, no, they're all a little bit different, but you can see the same uh, design language on all of them. Uh, they all have these three uh, speed holes. Hold on, I'm going to pause for a second. Sorry, kiddo came out and had a question for me. But, um, yeah, very similar pocket clips across uh, all those other models there. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, oh, I was talking about the three speed holes. That's kind of a signature for um, Todd Knife and Tool. Okay, sorry about that. More interruptions. Let's reset. Quick beverage check. Out of my said Stevie tumbler, available on my Teespring. Coffee, not black like my soul. I've already had a little too much. Figured I'd tone it down a little bit. Tossed it. some half and half in there. Alright, where was I? Back to the Todd Knife and Tool exploit. Best tech exploit. So... Again, you got the three speed holes. I'm probably repeating myself. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you have, again, Todd Knife and Tool on the pivot, which seems to be not, I think, maybe, it's off a little bit. It's not centered. I can fix that, though. But, um, yeah, this is a flipperless traditional flipper this is a front flipper and uh, finger hold appointment only uh, satin blade let's give it a front flip snap snap snappy there and would you look at that blade very very nice on that I do wish that it was uh, bead blasted as opposed to satin which I might end up having done but um, this is a nice knife, a nice choil there. Uh, man, uh, the jimping is in the perfect spot. My hand locks into this thing just perfectly right there. Now, I can get a full four when I'm back on there, but my, my hand instantly went, naturally went to there. You can see with my big old mitts, I still got some sticking off. Um, this is a very ergo friendly knife. Uh, you have a nice jimped thumb ramp right there where my thumb locks in. And if I'm going forward with it on the choil, I got uh, 
some nice jimping to land on right there. Not sharp on the uh, finger guard. My finger choil at all, it's not sharpened. Knocked down really well. All the edges on here seem knocked down really well. This is extremely comfortable in hand. Extremely comfortable. Um, we are looking at a, uh, let's see here, off camera, but one, two, three and a half inch blade-ish. Yeah, uh, I like this thing, man. Um, I really like this. Uh, frame lock. Let's check the, uh, so easy to actuate. Doesn't seem to be any lock stick there. Let's see how it ooh, drops to the nail. A little shake shut. Uh, you have this fuller and a uh, finger hole there. Easy to uh, deploy on that. From the fuller, yes, not as easy. Mo much easier on the, um, it's a little light on the detent for the finger flipping, flicking. On the front flipper though, the front flipper's done well. You got just that little nub hanging out there and it, boom. I like this knife. You know, very uh, futuristic, uh, cyberpunky uh, type designs that you get from Todd Knife and Tool and I dig it. I just, I really dig Todd Knife and Tool in their design and Best Tech has uh, executed these extremely, extremely well. So, yeah. I believe I have completed the best tech um, offerings from Todd Knife and Tool. You have the... Oh, Stooge! Oh, Doctor, you knocked me over! I'm sorry, Stooge. Take a, take a little rest there, Stooge. Um, yeah, you have the, uh, Shodan, which is a, uh, back flipper and finger hole deployment. Again, an awesome knife in itself. Um, but you got that little swoop -de swoop there, uh, finger toil to lock in. Again, very comfortable. Very comfortable, for sure. Um, but that's, uh, again, also very, you know, futuristic-y, machine-y cyberpunky style and then you have this holy moly talk about a stabbing machine Ugh. i did not clean this after i brought this to a steakhouse <laughs> that's kind of gross i forgot that i didn't take this thing down and uh yeah but this is this warren cliff is you know extremely extremely stabby um but again you got the little swoop -de swoop there uh for the choil and with this from Best Tech, you don't have, because it's not a flipper, you don't have the little swoopy swoop. I mean, you still got it a little bit, but it's much more natural feeling in hand. I gotta say, I think the exploit is my favorite of the three so far. But then you have the offerings from Wii, uh, the Roxy 3, front flipper, finger hole deployment, one of my absolute favorite knives. Um, this is just an absolute home run, but if I had to pick only one, you got this bad boy here, the Roxy 4. I got this on a trade from my brother Grumpy Grunt, and, um, even though you have the flipper tab there, you don't have so much of it protruding, um, there but uh yeah that's my todd knife and tool collection uh you have the, there's one that i'm missing for sure uh i need the roxy just the roxy not the roxy one but just the roxy it's a smaller version of the roxy three and uh no finger hole just a uh, fuller uh similar to the roxy three more so than the roxy four i need to track that one down if you guys know anyone that has a Roxy for sale, please let me know because I want it and I want it bad. Um, and then yeah, you have these uh, budget offerings from there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from Todd Knife and Tool. That, uh, that's my second most uh, from any one uh, designer 
in my collection. First being Ferrum Forge. Uh, second being Todd Knife and Tool. Third being, uh, oh, that's where my Malibu is. I was looking for my Malibu. I put it in there. Uh, but third being uh, Colin Mason Pierre, CM Designs, uh, the three from Kube and the two from uh, Tucson. So, yeah. That's today's mail call. The uh, don't for don't forget uh, can never forget about. Oh, there he is there. Mateo M bomb jerky got a shitload of jerky for the road trip. Um, definitely, uh, if you've not tried Mateo's M bomb jerky, uh, you really should. It's uh, scrum diddly umptious. I'm just gonna set these off to the side for right now. Um, but definitely check out, uh, M-Bomb, uh, Jerky. Uh, it's yummy. Um, and then, yeah, the, uh, Best Tech Exploit. I'm, I'm digging that little knife right there, for sure. Best Tech Exploit. Man, the action on this thing is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I think I have officially tied... Javon for uh, Todd Knife and Tool. Although I think he's got the Roxy. So he's definitely got me. Not that I'm in competition with anybody, but uh, look, Javon, um, you all know Javon, uh, Knife Addict. Uh, he has one of the most awesome collections out of anybody. Um, shout out to Brother Javon. Um, but he also is a Todd Knife and Tool nut, like myself. So... Those were the mail calls for today. Uh, this video is getting longer than I hoped. I always say that. Uh, before I go, I want to give a shout out to the EDC Roundtable. Again, these are not our official stickers. This is our official logo uh, designed by Pocket Metal, a uh, very good friend of the EDC Roundtable. I am just printing these um, on some extra... Uh, matte white labels that I have and sticking them to the uh, envelopes that the, the bubble mailers that I send out uh, with all my orders. Um, speaking of which, uh, when you order from said Stevie's uh, EDC Roundtable store, uh, you're going to get yourself a nice little uh, bag like this. It comes in two sizes depending on what you order. Uh, had a, a custom stamp made, so I'm stamping these canvas bags uh, with my custom stamp and then uh, with some mushrooms there. Uh, you are always going to get a said C Stevie sticker. We're working on getting EDC roundtable stickers that will be eventually included. But then here is a couple of uh, my products that I have. Um... This is what I've been selling the most of on the EDC Roundtable. Uh, the Essence of the Pacific Northwest. And um, I wasn't expecting to, but yeah, this has become my uh, biggest seller for sure. Uh, you got hints of pine and cedar and cypress wood and then a little bit of frankincense in there. And I think it smells like the uh, good old Pacific Northwest forest. So, um, yeah, give you a little how-to, uh, apply, and then you got my ingredient list that I list on there. I'm doing all this myself. Uh, I designed the labels. I'm printing the labels. Um, you can see I have it uh, heat shrink wrapped there. I'm doing that. Um, this is uh, how your bottle is going to come in a little ma bubble uh, mailer or a little bubble bag as well. Um, I can't open that up because uh, it's sealed. Um, but then uh, I, I can't find heat shrink bands for this. But anytime I've ordered balm, it's not come heat shrink wrapped. But um, this is uh, a look at my balm. I am also making this. All the same ingredients as uh, my beard oil. Just with some beeswax and some uh, shea butter. I keep saying shea. It's not shea. It's mango butter. So, um, but yeah, I am doing all the labeling myself, everything. 100% uh, when it says 100% uh, handcrafted, it is 100% handcrafted. And it is, like it says on my label, 
uh, bottled and distributed by said Stevie in the Pacific Northwest, Washington, U.S. of A. All North American uh, in, uh, ingredients. Everything is sourced uh, not 100% in the United States because I can't get my hemp oil uh, that's in here. But everything else is sourced and bottled uh, here. I'm getting good, fine ingredients. Uh, jojoba oil, camellia oil, hemp oil, argon oil, um, uh, coconut oil, CMD minerals, and then my uh, uh, the fragrances there. But everything is coming from uh, good, 100% uh, non-GMO um, sourcing. Again, extremely high quality ingredients. Uh, then shout out to my other uh, EDC Roundtable uh, brethren, uh, Forrest Hanks, uh, Gene and Kayla, hey, it's the Johnsons, Cat Butthole from the Crochet Queen, my mushroom from the Crochet Queen, Kayla, and then Gene's uh, Fire Strikers and uh, Fire Starter Kits. You got uh, Hawaii Knife and Gear doing his custom koa. Uh, sacks and other uh, koa wood art. Um, you can get an option for a uh, logoed uh, Hawaii knife and gear logoed Lancelot leather pouch. Uh, you can also uh, get from Mastranza Blades, so it's on its way. I don't have one here. To actually uh, show off but right now uh, Lee has these awesome railroad spike oyster knives uh, knives uh, on the site uh, you can pick these up for uh, 75 bucks all uh, free domestic shipping across the EDC roundtable site Father's Day is coming up grilling seasons upon us this would be an awesome pickup uh, for someone uh, hand forged in North Carolina uh, shout out to Lee Mastranza Blades. I don't know if I'm going to have mine before I uh, leave for Blade Show in a couple days, but uh, you will see mine eventually. Uh, and then, of course, our co-founder, our brother Joe uh, from Lancelot Leather, making um, you know all sorts of leather slips, um, coin slips. Uh, and then right here, I have uh, my business card holder. Um, I don't want to show off my day job business cards, but I do keep, uh, business cards in here. And, um, yeah, this thing is done, uh, extremely well, extremely well. Um, uh, but all sorts of leather goods from, uh, Joe at Lancelot Leather. He's got a scratch and dent, uh, uh, spot on the round table right now where you can get some of his uh, blemished uh, you know slight imperfections on his uh, some of the products there um, so yeah just a complete offering on the um, EDC round table right now so um, go shop go pick up some stuff from the EDC round table support small makers from the community making products for the community isn't that right stooge yeah i need to get me some beard oil yes you do you do need some beard oil for your beard now now that you're a, a nice bearded brother stooge i appreciate the support man i tell you uh the things that come out of stooge's mouth when the camera is not on Ooh, boy haha <laughs> i'm a naughty boy you sure are, Stooge. Can't get you. Can't wait to get you back to uh, your brother Nuz there. Anywho, folks, this has turned into a very long video. So, uh, shout out to the four of you that will actually watch this. <laughs> uh, you know who you are. Um, but no, I appreciate everyone that tunes in and listens to me uh, in my long-winded rambles. But uh, that's all I got for you fine folks today. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you are subscribed. And how about you check out that video right there. And until the next one, I will talk to you all later. Deuces!